one of my favorite scenes in the movie. I told you this theater is tied up his ass. When that shit. little boy couldn't, when that little boy couldn't get him to settle down, the whole thing is like, you know, I'm sick of your shit. Somebody pulled a Bugs Bunny on his ass. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna settle this once and for all, cause I am back. <laughs> The Shogun is back on the scene, and the Shogun is the master. Why don't you sit out and shut up? <laughs> Everyone, do you enjoy Double Toasted? Then put it on your body. Check out our tpublic.com merch store where you'll find all these wonderful designs that look great on high quality t-shirts with more designs coming soon. Or check out other high quality items such as mugs, pillows, tote bags, and more. Once again, that is tpublic.com, T-E-E-public.com. Or click the link in the description below. We are talking about that last dragon. Now, we ain't talking about that <laughs> knockoff Disney shit, all right? <laughs> Raya and the Last Dragon. Raya ain't got nothing to do with this right here. We talking about that original Last Dragon from she 1985, y'all. She ain't got no glow. No. She mentions and, the glow. And, and never will. Say, <laughs> so, y'all see you with that rock over there. That's a rock. When you got that glow, your whole body lights up. Oh. When you got that glow. Oh, okay. Fair enough. You'll feel the one. This is a cult classic, but some people don't. You come in here with that, no, no, no. There ain't, ain't nothing cult about this. Mm -hmm. Bitch, this is a straight up classic. A martial arts champion in search of the glow. I don't want you to kill anybody. Are you out of your mind? <laughs> <laughs> you dumb broad. <laughs> you dumb broad, yeah. <laughs> Talk about something dirty in this movie, man. Yeah, people, that is The Last Dragon. Starring people don't say don't say the actor's name. You got to say the character's name. Starring, starring Bruce Leroy. <laughs> and who's the master? Show enough. <laughs> the Shogun of the Harlem. The Shogun of Harlem. I know people love this man, and people want a sequel. I don't know if you can do that today. We should have Alan here. <laughs> I was thinking about that. I was wondering why Alan didn't show up. Al we have a friend named Alan who loves this movie. He dressed up like this man one time. Wow. He dressed up like him for a talent show and did nothing else. <laughs> Walked on the stage dressed like him. I'm here. There you <laughs> go. A lot of people want a, uh, they want a sequel, and they want a remake. I don't think you need either one of those. This thing is such a... I won't even say a product of his own time. It's just a, it's his own thing. It is its mm. own thing. If somebody thinks I'm always talking about white people going out and, and appropriating other people's cultures, forgive me because The Last Dragon is some of the most appropriating <laughs> shit that I've ever seen. It, is, it ain't nothing but black people just stealing Asian <laughs> shit out there. Although, it goes both ways it a little goes, bit. It, it goes both oh, ways. It goes, sure. In this movie, in this it, goes movie yeah. Yeah, it goes both ways. But and this, it does acknowledge what it's doing. Oh, yeah, man. It's 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 full of, of cultural appropriation and full of just nothing but just, just lazy-ass stereotypes in this. But that kind of makes it more fun. <laughs> you have the president of Motown Records, Barry Gordy, who says, you know, I want to make a movie. And Barry Gordy, you know, he's responsible for some of the biggest names out there, including Michael Jackson. But Barry Gordy decided that, you know what? I've done music. I want to conquer cinema now. Mm -hmm. And I want to make I want to make a movie about black people. So I'm going to steal from Asian culture <laughs> <laughs> and make a kung fu film. So again, like I said, this is many things. It is a martial arts movie, so of course our hero, Timac. Mm -hmm. You know, one of those guys who looked so good and <laughs> Was so pretty, he didn't need a last name. <laughs> Ty Mac, I remember, and I don't think he had anything else. Or, or talent. <laughs> oh, you know what? This is his first movie. He had been oh, a, I can tell. He was, he was a martial artist and a stuntman, and, uh -huh. and it was just like, hey, let me get you in on this. Well, we meet our hero, Bruce Leroy. And we already starting getting crazy with names here and everything, but he's he's training to live up to that name. When the movie opens up, he's flipping all around the place and doing crazy ass and, martial and arts. Just to say, Bruce Leroy is a nickname. His his character's name is Leroy Green. Right. Like, yes. Well, the streets call him Bruce. Then, Leroy. Yes, the, the streets <laughs> yeah. call him Bruce Leroy. Which which you would if you knew him and saw how he was acting, yeah. you'd be like, oh.
Bruce Leroy over here. I mean, <laughs> Leroy Green is a guy that runs a soul food restaurant. You know, a barbershop. Hey, he owns a pizzeria. Yeah, pizzeria. <laughs> His father owns a pizzeria. Bruce Leroy is the dude that does karate. Right, right. Right. Yeah. Martial yes. arts. Of course. So that's why he can't go around as Leroy Green. <laughs> Old Asian dude shooting at with arrows. <laughs> Get out of my dojo. <laughs> what are you doing here, black man? What, what will it take? <laughs> but uh, no, turns out that that's not what's happening. He's not trying to kill him. That's his. That's that's his master. Which I know that it's not the most you know pleasant thing for a black person to say to somebody well, else. Yeah. But this is an Asian dude. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you know, if it was a white master, you know, it'd be. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can I just call you sir? <laughs> this is really awkward for me. You <laughs> can, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> You know the oh, 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 I did it. Oh. <laughs> turns out his hands bleeding and shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it turns out he's catching these arrows because he doesn't know what color arrows are being shot at him. But the day that he finally catches the right one without even thinking about it, then that's the day that he has transcended to the next level. You have touched the final level. You knew without knowing. Now, the thing is, this is what I'm talking about, these stereotypes. I'm sure that that walrus mustache is fake. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah very fake. <laughs> they got an old man makeup on them. You can even tell. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they sh yeah exactly. All that, that shit is caked on mm. right there. Yeah, that flower in his eyebrows. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have finished our journey together. Now, the thing with this is that we also learn where the title of The Last Dragon comes from. Uh, which is the level that he has transcended to, which has brought him back actually full circle. It's a return to the beginning. This is the last dragon. Which is just a Boy Scouts patch. No, no. <laughs> That's literally what it is. So I was like, oh, really? Wow. Got lame. <laughs> so he has all this training running from arrows just to get this little medallion <laughs> right patch. <laughs> Your last merit badge. Hey, yeah. <laughs> now you can be an eagle warrior. Yeah. Ooh. You know, between that patch and selling fortune cookies like Girl Scout cookies and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to buy some fortune cookies, please? It goes to my dojo. <laughs> I don't know because everybody heard there was a kung fu master in the neighborhood, but everybody is trying to get on this now, on this kung fu thing, and everybody's crazy with it. Got, for one, got already got up in, uh, in, in Bruce Leroy's head, got his ass walking around New York looking like Raiden from Mortal Kombat. Inside you. So it looks like it's in Chinatown. Yeah, yeah. And it's New York. Nobody's going to give a f***. Yeah. You know, yeah. Chinatown, yeah. Harlem, same thing. Yeah, yeah it's New York. You've been alien walking around. No, yeah. Nobody in New York. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, like he's on his Bad way to a movie or something. You yeah. know, <laughs> <laughs> you know and, I, and every with the whole theme, this Asian theme, you're thinking, is that... Is that part of his, of his training? Is there a big tournament coming up? It's like, nah, he's just weird. The movie was saying. Yes, he's weird. Everyone yeah, says he's everybody weird. Everybody says he's weird. That's what I'm saying. Like, he's doing this appropriation, but the movie acknowledges, like, this is not normal. No, he's weird. Yeah, and everybody, even his family, man. Yeah. Like, his, his family just kind of deals with it in a way because right. they got better things to worry about. But, he, but, but his little brother. I like the brother. Blade, a lot. Blade by, I think that man, that guy, his name is o, uh, something O'Brien. Anyway, um, that, that little brother's cutting him no slack. Yeah. None at <laughs> all. His little brother just. Nor should he. <laughs> Nor should he cut like, him Why y'all encouraging this shit? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's, he's, he's ill. He's, he's ill. Look he's at him. Mentally, yeah, he's <laughs> mentally ill. What's wrong with y'all, man? Like, he, you know, he's. Oh, <laughs> leave Junior alone. He'll be all right. Yeah, <laughs> we won't. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's weird. Tell you, Pop, the boy is off it. I can't help it if he's weird. <laughs> <laughs> All the time. Even the dad is like, you know, I want to say something, but he's right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and he is right. Like, Junior over here, Bruce Leroy, he can't he can't use the door. He got to climb in through windows because he's working on doing his uh, train on the roof. Mm -hmm. He's eating popcorn with chopsticks. Yeah. I, when I saw that, I'm like, give me a goddamn break. The movie opens with him well, training with well, chopsticks. He comes, like, to come he comes to breakfast. Everybody's sitting up there eating with uh, a knife and a fork. He brings his own chopstick trying to give it to other people to eat with that shit. You know, and, and I don't, and the, like, his little brother, I don't blame him, cause the family, the family encourages this shit. He's the only one speaking sense. <laughs> yeah. Mama son, 
Richie Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like, man, man sit your ass down. Yeah. Stop it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, damn it, all that mama son shit. R- Richie son. That's not even using the correct. That's not even a thing, man. Y'all like the way yeah, Junior was like, man, sit your ass down and eat. <laughs> sit your black ass down and eat. <laughs> People, it's it's like Mad Max meets the hood. <laughs> I, I That's a way to put it. Yeah. Just nice. just going to see a movie, it's like checking into an insane asylum where nobody's keeping control of anyone. People, if you watch this movie for one thing, if I ask you, like if you don't want to see this, I'm begging you, please watch this movie just for the movie theater part. <laughs> that shit. Have you seen this movie? Oh man, you should. This movie's in, man, this movie theater party. It is, it is almost a movie in its own. Yeah. Right? yeah. It really don't even connect with the rest of the movie. That much. It doesn't. Now, I will give this theater part this. So, for all y'all who are talking about diversity in Hollywood, uh, The Last Dragon, especially in the movie theater part, was very diverse. Sure. Uh, almost crazy diverse. Emphasis on crazy right here. Just take, for example, this scene right here. You have right here uh, a gay Elvis impersonator. You got you a cow. Not, not Elvis. Yeah, so it, might, or it might be Elvis. Oh, he was dead by this point. <laughs> or maybe that's him. He just, maybe Elvis is alive. He's still alive, he man. He's dead. still alive. Yeah, yeah. So, you go, so you can go watch the End of the Dragon with black people. Yeah, you got gay Elvis impersonator. You got this cowboy uh-huh. back here, this biker, watching the movie with black folks up in here. Mm-hmm. And, and they're all loud. Yeah, it's a it's a movie theater where everybody talks at the screen. <laughs> and the only time you get complaints is when somebody decides to play music. Yeah, people, it's, <laughs> but it's the 80s. Yeah. So <laughs> the thing is, this movie don't, <laughs> this movie, this movie theater, no one knows how to shut the f- up. <laughs> Nobody. It's the, it's the anti-Alamo draft house. <laughs> That's the way to put it. Yeah, man. Uh, nobody's being quiet in here. And even they have their limits. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Because, mm-hmm. because it's, the, yeah. it's the 80s, y'all. It's the 80s. And this is the time when people, apparently in the 80s, now maybe my memory's fuzzy, but apparently in the 80s, people just broke out into spontaneous breakdancing no matter where they were. <laughs> Bruce Lee's like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Get out of here with that. Shit, Bruce Lee about to walk out yeah. the screen. <laughs> this. Interrupt my movie. And it, it, it is funny because the theater says, look, yeah, we loud, we crazy, but we ain't that goddamn crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I love it. When the loud black people have to say, thank you, <laughs> that means you were too goddamn loud. Well, to just set up a boom box and just start blasting music and break dancing right in the theater. In the like, aisles, like, Is there man. nowhere else you could do this? Pay attention to us right now. Pay attention to me, 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 me. That's what that is. <laughs> yeah, you in a movie full of people came to see Bruce Lee. Mm-hmm. And Enter the Dragon, you just going to pull out your radio, put in the aisle, <laughs> put in the aisle and just start... <laughs> <laughs> what the? <laughs> f- <laughs> that was some fun editing, right there. Yeah, it was. was. Good. Yeah, I love this dude. That dude's like, I had enough. <laughs> yeah, bitch, what? <laughs> yeah, you want break dancing? Yeah, I broke that, didn't I? <laughs> Boys, it got to a point they was so, those people were so annoying that people enjoyed them getting their radio broken more than the movie for a little bit. <laughs> that's that man, and there ain't no coming back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he cracked himself up. <laughs> he just high. <laughs> Nobody would just said. Go, go, go. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one, man. <laughs> Goddamn, black Robert, De- black Jamaican <laughs> Robert De Niro in it. <laughs> <laughs> Start laughing like a horse. <laughs> <laughs> That's that man, and there ain't no coming back. <laughs> <laughs> and, got, and the shit got funny until we went on. <laughs> oh shit! I just, I just got myself. <laughs> this, this theater scene is insane. I'm going deep in this theater scene because it's just like a crazy short movie. It introduces a lot, too. What's that? It just introduces a lot of yeah, things. Yeah, it does. You see later in the film. Yes, it does. 
Because, like I say, the real crazy stuff doesn't happen until your boy, oh shit, the, 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 the infamous, the iconic, show enough. Now I love that part because this is what I this this is what I love about this is what I love about an all black movie because mm-hmm. people Negroes just talk shit <laughs> no matter what. <laughs> this is why I love black movies like this because it's always some nigger off screen mm-hmm. no matter how dramatic your intro is <laughs> he's still cracking jokes and capping on you and, and, and talking mm-hmm. shit because did you hear that? Yeah. Because they came in state they start and somebody like man all that old patty cake shit. <laughs> 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 this old patty cake shit. <laughs> but that's that's the uh, that's Bruce Lee. That, I'm sorry. That is that is show enough's entrance right there. And if uh, you yeah, guys love the movie, it's a dramatic movie, entrance. Oh, yeah. it's if they say say what you will, but this man knows how to make an entrance. Mm-hmm. The Shogun of Harlem. Show up. Well, who am I? Show up. Who am I? I like the way Bruce Lee was like, oh, good, someone who looks silly than me. <laughs> <laughs> cool. <laughs> Show enough. Yeah, man, that's, uh, again, that's one of the quotable things in there. Who's the baddest? Show enough. Who's the prettiest? Show enough. Who's the craziest looking mother? <laughs> <laughs> man, show enough. That'll be you. <laughs> Uh, what's that actor's name? Uh, Julius Carey the third. Yeah, man, he was in. Uh, we'll talk about some things he was in near the end of the review because you, we've seen this guy before. We talked about him a lot in this show, but mm. he's done a lot of stuff. He's deceased now. Yeah, so uh, many dead people in this movie, man. I know that's that's one of the reasons you can't, you know, make that sequel. Uh, exactly, exactly. Yeah, I just have to go and do a remake. Yeah, I yeah. highly recommend <laughs> you. Good luck. Don't do that. Yeah. Uh, D double D. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thing is uh <laughs> the funny part is that no matter how big of an intro you got coming in people they don't care the moment he walked through the door they were already tired of his ass <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> everybody <laughs> kids and everything i got him i got him i got him i got him oh shit what the hell is wrong with my oh there you go i got him i love, I love that lackey he got I, I got him i got him enough i got him, I got him. Hey. <laughs> Oh shit! Now this is a funny part right here because he got that kid. Oh, and I want y'all to notice something, man. All these crazy people are in the theater right now. All these people looking like road warrior apocalypse types, and you got this librarian sitting back here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, she might be the craziest uh, out of all of them, man. You don't know. Yeah, she might be nuts. I, I figure she's a film historian. <laughs> Yeah, little kid, man. Little kid just starting shit over there, man. Who's badder than the Shogun? Bruce Leroy, that too. Bruce Leroy. Bruce was like, man, why you put me on I this know, shit? Yeah. He's like, mm-hmm. I he say a will word. not help you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I will not do a damn thing. <laughs> this is where I get a, this is where I get a little confused. So uh, I'm confused why Bruce uh, or why Show Enough really wants to fight. Bruce Leroy that bad? I mean, there's reasons here, but it's kind of crazy. Like, I some of it I understand when it comes to street cred, but I don't like this with this part right here. I don't know what the hell they're talking about. That's the only guy that stands between show and total supremacy. Supremacy of what? Of what? They yeah, never established. It's yeah, like he's already running things. Yeah, mm-hmm. y'all ain't got mm-hmm. shit. Neither one of y'all got anything. What? You supremacy over this this crazy ragged ass theater? Or maybe it's just some challenge they've concocted in their own heads. It's some, yeah, it's some playground shit that yeah, they yeah, put in their head. Playground shit. Yeah. Neither yeah. one of y'all got, y'all ain't got shit. And you're talking about supremacy, especially Bruce Leroy. Yeah. He ain't got shit. Belly talks to anyone yeah. else anyway. Yeah, he doesn't have a crew. Shit, Bruce Leroy's crazy. Y'all stupid. So you know, y'all <laughs> between the both of y'all ain't nothing. Mm. I'm sick of hearing these bullshit Superman stories about the Wassa legendary Bruce Leroy. He don't even know what's going on. I know. <laughs> he look like a dog trying to understand a person talking. He's like a Labrador. He's like a Labrador. <laughs> 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 At first, I thought he was being cool. Like, he's just stupid. Right. So. Yeah, yeah. I thought that, too. I was like, oh, he's just blowing him off. And they're like, hey, he's not even paying attention. No, he tried to watch the movie. He don't understand what's happening. This movie that he's seen about 30 times. Yeah. It's about the Wassa legendary Bruce Leroy catching bullets with his teeth. 
Nigga, please. <laughs> <laughs> That's the realest line of the movie because I, I said the same thing when I heard it. Quiet to myself. I was like, nigga, please. <laughs> Bullets with your teeth. I'm like, I agree with him on that. <laughs> I told you, this theater is tied up his ass. When that little boy couldn't, when that little boy couldn't get him to settle down, the whole thing is like, you know, I'm sick of your shit. Somebody pulled a Bugs Bunny on his ass. <laughs> we gonna settle this once and for all, cause I am back, and the Shogun is the master. Why don't you sit down and shut up? <laughs> <laughs> and the Shogun is the master. Why don't you sit down and shut up? <laughs> <laughs> he ain't even shot like damn. Maybe I should. He <laughs> <It's> got bigger. <laughs> maybe he has a point. You know what? <laughs> when I heard that, at first I was like, "Yeah, you tell him." Until I saw who it was <laughs> that that said it. I said, "Why don't you sit down and shut up?" Oh, whoa, yeah. whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> you know what? On second thought, want y'all sit down? And shut up. <laughs> yeah, that crop top is too Boy, much. I was like, <laughs> "What? <laughs> what the?" What is going on here? <laughs> what is happening, y'all? Hey, man, it's diverse. Come on. <laughs> that ain't diverse. That's stupid. I would tell you, the, that, that works. I'll tell you how much that crop top works right there. Because I saw that. I was like, well, shit, if he's brave enough to wear that out in public, yeah. he might know yeah, some yeah, things. He might be a badass. Yeah, yeah. he might be a badass because you got to defend yourself against that. <laughs> That's right. Constantly. Because it ain't just a crop top. That shit is pink. Yes. yes. <laughs> I mean, it, yeah, it's like a camisole, really. <laughs> It's missing lace. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what starts out as some beef in between Bruce Leroy and Show Nuff ends up just, you know, it's like the, it's like the song, everybody was kung fu fighting. Mm -hmm. You know, this is a I black kung fu movie, so everybody. Yep. If you ever watch any black exploitation movies where they do kung fu, everybody, everybody knows kung fu. Free for all. It, yeah, <laughs> it is. It is, man. A grand melee. Yeah, it's, <laughs> and it don't help... I mean, everybody might have been cool, but it didn't help that showing up got in front of the whole theater like, all oh, y'all try to make me sit down and shut up. All 50 of you. Why don't any 50 of you who want me to sit down and shut up come down here and shut up for the fun of And thus, it begins. <laughs> when you say yeah, the, the, free, what, the free, free for all. The free for all begins. Yeah, that's a big dude. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're, not that fast, right, baby. Transvestites. Transvestites is yeah. a very diverse theater. I like my man. Don't the fast, baby. That's one of my favorite lines. Not the fast, baby. Don't the fast, baby. Don't hurt that face, baby. <laughs> <laughs> that diversity. Of course, he got his ass beat going oh, up there. Being the first. Don't, 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 don't be the first. <laughs> don't, don't, don't ever be the first one to get you. You know, wait and see what he got. Sure. Of course, he get his ass whooping, and that's when everybody tries to come in. That's when everybody start kung fu fighting. <laughs> Brothers just bouncing, bouncing out of nowhere, <laughs> like <laughs> like there were other people. Like I can't say nothing about about uh, about Bruce Leroy because there were other people in there dressed just like him, uh -huh. minus the hat. But they were ready. They like they just ready to go. They said somebody gonna start kung fu fighting today. Hey man, you watch a Bruce Lee movie, you get all hyped up and ready, ready, ready <laughs> exactly. to practice on what you just saw on somebody. Exactly. That's, Some, how, that's how we were when we when we saw those movies. We all want to go to the playground and, yep. and kung fu each other. And if hey, look, if somebody don't start some shit, I'll start some shit. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Got him good. <laughs> he threw his arms up off that, off that stage, man. <laughs> oh, my bad. <laughs> People jumping from the balconies. Get your ass out of here. <laughs> you know what I wish? I wish he had kicked him back up to the balcony. <laughs> you, Shot. You, yeah. you, you gotta give it to show enough. He talks a big game and he backs it up. Oh, yeah, he, he does. Yeah, he knows he his does. shit. Yeah. He does. He does. And here's the thing. Leroy just came to see a movie. So the craziest shit gets Leroy is just kind of like, you know what? I'm out this bitch. Leroy! I'm going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now that dude. Yeah. Smart. See? That dude, yeah. he was waiting to catch him slipping. Yep. <laughs> Chose his shot. <laughs> he was going to be distracted. <laughs> oh, oh, shit yeah. is my chance. <laughs> 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 Leroy, I'm going yeah. to you get shit. You're going to get this foot in your chest. That's what you're going to get. Like the, the whole craziness of, of this atmosphere just drove him out his mind. 
Not the Achilles tendon. <laughs> Rips that out. Mm. I had man, I know what that feeling is like. I I think he improvised that because I think he just lost his mind. Mm. But then that's after all this happened, I was like, man, this is hilarious. What is this shit about? <laughs> 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 I really didn't Fair. know. Uh, uh, more plot lines to come. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I haven't, I haven't even seen a real story yet. Anything. Yeah. I don't know what's happening here. So, you know, if we had to nail down what this story is, so, and the main story we finally get to it is even sillier than what we just saw. Yes. Sure. It's it's it's, it's, it's insane. Uh, you got a gangster named Eddie, who's played by Christopher Murney, who's a character actor. But actually, man, he's pretty good in this. I like him in this. <laughs> he's passionate. Yeah. He's over that. the top here, mm-hmm. man. But he has. He has a, a girlfriend, and he's trying to get her. He's trying to get her a a, a, a record contract, like trying to get her exposed for it as being a, a, a musician. Pretty soon, that's gonna be you, Angie Baby, dancing around on that screen, ain't that right? Uh. Oh yeah. Okay, you already know she ain't got no talent. <laughs> but I like I like uh, this guy Christopher Murney here. I mean, he, the, 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 what makes this movie work for a lot of people is that there's a lot of actors who know exactly how crazy this is. Yes. Mm-hmm. Like the guy who's playing Show Enough. I mean, he look, oh, it's, yeah. it's a dude walking around with a, a, a Shogun Jerry Curl or something. So, you know, he knows this is insane. And football pads. That's yeah. part, part of his armor. <laughs> <laughs> so, but there's something about the way uh, Julius Carey does it where it's like he's committed. <laughs> no, he is. Mm-hmm. Man, people know this is crazy, but they commit to it and they, they have fun. Mm-hmm. This guy, Christopher Murney, who plays the gangster here, that guy had me laughing. I mean, he plays it just like you would expect a comical gangster to play this. What she's going to do to people has never been done before. Make them run for cover? Oh, that's Kill Rock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Kill Rock. That's Kill. He's like, you know, he reminded me of like a uh, like a short Italian Fred Flintstone. I was just thinking mm, that. Like okay. a character from the Flintstones. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's Kill Rock. That's Kill. That's Kill. <laughs> and this is big ass Barney. <laughs> <laughs> so how is he going to get his girlfriend and her music out there? How is he going to get publicity for it? Uh, well... He's going to contact, now I told y'all this is crazy, it don't make no sense. He's going to contact the, big, the, the biggest video music show in New York, who is, as you can see right there, is uh, hosted by a very coked up vanity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she, I joke, but it's sad because she at one time really didn't have a coke problem. Oh shit! Yeah, there's 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 musicians out there. I'm not trying to make a joke about her because she's dead now. I told you, so many dead people yeah. in here. So how's he gonna get her, the, the the Eddie the gangster? How's he gonna get his girlfriend to be on Vanity's very popular New York music video show? It's popular because she has. Uh, obviously good taste in music and everybody loves it because of that. So when this guy comes up, she's going to be like, I'm not even getting this girl on my show. <laughs> and he's like, oh, well, you know, I tried to be a gentleman. Now I got to do some gangster shit. <laughs> and I got to do, you know, if I can't work the nice way, now I got to kidnap and threaten you and torture you, which is what he tries to do right here. Put her in the car. Come on, come on get her in here. Car. Oh, Ah, boy, this is biting. a lot of biting in here. Yeah. A lot of biting. Boy, these, these, it works. These, these supporting actors and these extras must be delicious. <laughs> <laughs> this girl is always getting kidnapped, and mm. apparently she's always getting kidnapped because this gangster's always catching at the wrong time. <laughs> He's always catching her when Bruce Leroy is like two <laughs> feet away. <laughs> but Bruce, Bruce Leroy was too busy meditating right here to actually save her this time. But she's always getting her ass kidnapped. <laughs> Too late, bro. <laughs> hey! Hey! You can hear her ass two blocks down the street. <laughs> Maybe you wouldn't sit up that high as you'd be able to <laughs> Well, he's not used to helping people. Huh? It's not his thing. Yeah. Should I do a heroic yeah. deed? Yeah. Maybe? I don't know. So you on that strong shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's why you need. Diet smoke. You know if you, if you, <laughs> you know if you, 
<laughs> if you weren't as high as you were, not your best, but you know, we'll allow it. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah. If you weren't, if you weren't as high as you were, and just had a nice mellow, mellow mood going, a nice mellow high, you probably could have done something because you could have functioned mm. and also enjoyed himself. Sure. Because that's what diet smoke does for you right there. Doesn't get you too crazy. Doesn't get you to the point where you sitting over there babbling, uh, looking like uh, vanity. <laughs> <laughs> All looking like your man right here. <laughs> it kicked in right there for him. Yeah, man. No, we've had a lot of people. I was even talking to people at South by Southwest this weekend uh, about how much our audience loves this diet smoke. We get so many testimonies from people. Can I ask y'all to do us a favor? If you've been ordering this, can you give me an email with your picture where you have it? And, you know, because a lot of people, a couple of people have done that. Yeah. But if you, uh, if you have a picture of yourself or if you could send us an email with a picture of yourself we'd love that because a lot of people love diet smoke uh why because diet smoke is a less potent grade of thc this is called delta eight you know what you see when people they're looking all loopy and crazy you know that's <laughs> delta nine which has its place for some people but some people like myself i just want to feel nice sure yeah sometimes i just want to be mellow and go to bed and that's what diet smoke is great for you know, thing is, this is made from Delta 8 hemp, which makes this completely legal. Not a loophole or anything. It is completely legal. And if you just go to the website right here, you'll see that they have two flavors, blue raspberry and watermelon. You can order these. You can even get a subscription to it if you like it well enough. I think you did that, didn't yes, you? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, I, and believe me, now they send me a lot. And I'm so happy when they do. But when they're done, I'm telling you. God, honest truth, I'm getting a subscription to this because uh, I, there's been some nights where, because I got a little bit of uh, insomnia, and I don't like taking sleeping pills and all that kind of stuff, so I've taken some of these, and I've been nice, man. Been yeah. good, been good. Mm -hmm. What more do you need for me to tell you to get this? Well, people say, hey, I'm about to save me some money. I can do that. I can definitely do that. People, what I need for you to do is go to dietsmoke.com and use the code TOASTED for 20% off your order. And thank you, Diet Smoke, for helping me feel good, helping me get some good rest, and sponsoring this portion of the show. And I want to thank all of you out there for doing the same. All right. Let me see here. Where were we? Oh, yeah. Kidnapping this girl. Not only do they kidnap her, but they put her through some of the most excruciatingly painful torture. <laughs> I love that. We grabbed her head here. Oh, you gonna watch this shit? <laughs> now, if this sounds like a flimsy premise, it is. Yeah. You know, there's nothing going on with that. This is people. What they've managed to do here is they they've made uh, a, a sort of a pseudo modern black exploitation film. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. And and so much of it is like uh, paired with the black exploitation is the Bruce Lee movies. Matter of fact, a yep. lot of this plot comes from uh, Return of the Dragon. Watching it, I was like, oh yeah, this, this <laughs> follows right along with that. This is this movie's everywhere, man, but why is it so successful? Again, because it's just, it's crazy like that. It's hilarious. Uh, these characters just are so memorable. And these lines that they say are so memorable, man. Uh, I remember when it came out, the movie came out, These I remember reading, because uh, at the time when I was reading a bunch of reviews, you know, I was always thinking the critics were so smart. And uh, I saw so many reviews where they were talking about that. This this line right here that everybody remembers. This is probably one of the most quotable lines from the movie. Yeah, coolie. Kiss my converse. Oh, yeah. I love that line. Because I remember reading reviews and they're like, he comes in and says, kiss my converse. I'm like, that's cool. Yeah. I don't know. It just has a ring to it. Mm -hmm. The iteration, kiss my converse. Yeah, I had no problem with it. I, I liked it. What do you think about that? You like that's that fine. Silly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, speak your mind. Uh, <laughs> you, you, no, no. Listen. What 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 I'll say is I I agree with you guys to an extent. I think the supporting characters of this movie are quite fun because they get to do they get to have more fun. Mm. They get to go a little crazier. Yeah. I think what the problem that this movie has is is you have your prototypical lead who's supposed to be you know stoic. But unlike films like that had Bruce Lee, where he was just cool, yeah. or even Jackie yeah. Chan, who had that wholesomeness to him, like, oh, I'm so sorry, I want no trouble. It's like something yeah, about yeah. that. Like the 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 leads here, the hero of Bruce Lee, where he has nothing. 
there's nothing. Anytime he's on screen, I feel like the movie just becomes kind of dull. And so even when you have that other actor there who's trying to almost like get a reaction out of it, I'm like, man, you're stop trying at this point. It ain't gonna work. It's just yeah, I just I kind of felt damn do something. I, I just kind of felt like you know let's 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 edit around this. Let's let's cut this down at this point. Well, I mean, it's funny you say that because even the basis of the story is. Show enough is trying to get a reaction out of Bruce Leroy. Uh, Bruce Leroy's like, nope, no, no, nope, not engaged. I want him to react though. <laughs> you know what? I think Show enough felt like you did. Yeah, <laughs> trying, to, trying, to get his, trying to get a reaction. Yeah. And I think, I think this is. Uh, I think he speaks for you I think when so. he does this. Kiss him. Get a reaction. <laughs> That's crazy. again. Get a reaction at your ass. <laughs> Fight me. Do something. Oh God. Yeah. You can see he's got on blue, Bruce. I mean, or uh, Bruce Lee Bruce suit. Lee's suit and yeah, yeah, his, his that iconic suit. suit. Yeah. Man, I even like the this this. There's just some bad dialogue in this, and again, it's, it feels like a throwback to black exploitation. Mm. But I love it, man. Get him, girls. Maybe you can get a rise out of this limp wimp. <laughs> limp wimp. Hell limp yeah. Wimp. He's like, yeah, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Chris is like, you know what's showing up? What what's what's that down there? Look. <laughs> There's your limp wimp right there. <laughs> my favorite. This is my favorite line, because this just came out of nowhere. This caught me off guard. When he when he was in uh, Bruce Leroy's dad's pizza shop, yeah. oh, <laughs> hey, he, he got mad at a jukebox. That was improvised. Yeah, 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 I think yeah, that was improvised. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's not even mine. <laughs> <laughs> Man, he, he's in there. He just he gets pissed off at a jukebox and just starts cussing it out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that man, I'm laughing, but it's and they did a lot of foul things to people. But I gotta say, it's when they tore up that store. <laughs> That's what, I don't know why it made me so mad. Like now, son, now we gotta do something about this. Yes. Sure, because yes. it was just it was just unnecessary. Some of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That was unnecessary. It was. It was. Even, I, even I said that I watched. I was like, "Oh, come on!" I was like, "Okay, we got to replace the glass and the other one, but now we got to replace the whole the door." Whole door. I like the guys in the background are even laughing. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Man, that ain't funny. Why are you laughing about that? <laughs> <laughs> laughing at these people's misery over here. Yeah, they're they're like b the bullies of the neighborhood because they even put people in trash cans and yeah, stuff. Yeah, they put the little brother in a trash can. Oh, fuck I was they like, put that little boy right. in a trash can. Oh, that shit was funny. <laughs> he's, and he's screaming like it would every little boy sound like they about to be put in a trash can. Hey! No, no! no. My man, here he goes. This is my man right here. Here he goes when he tries to. We, he all already tells him. You can already tell. Yeah. yeah, you already tell. Go, something's going to happen to him. Ah, jeez. But this is, this is him where he's trying to. He's trying to step up to the bullies when they start tearing up his dad's pizza shop and his ass gets thrown away like garbage. All right, enough is enough. Y'all better chill out. Richie, Richie, you stay out of this. You better chill out, man. Oh, I said chill out. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> He's covered in pasta. And dad didn't do nothing. He's like, no. well, he, he should have shut the <laughs> 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 yeah, you think if any time dad was going to step up and do something, it would have been there. <laughs> I see why his brother's mad. His whole shop got torn up, and here he come. Oh, no. <laughs> do, do, do. <laughs> oh, what happened? Oh, oh now you're going to do something. Oh, yeah, now, yeah, it's too late now. If you had taken care of this earlier. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> here it is. Yeah. <laughs> Pull his ass. I got you. Man, they messed your ass up, didn't they? You kind of look a little delicious, son. <laughs> they put you on the menu. You said I'm rich. Oh, oh look. you. Yeah, you all them are like, yeah. What you uh, oh, now you show up. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Not the jukebox. He's like, damn, what happened here? <laughs> For real? <laughs> yo, yo, what I miss? <laughs> Boy, his brother, he ain't happy. You punk, you punk bitch. <laughs> Somebody said Bruce Late Roy. Don't have happened. That's what. And it's all because of you. Kissed his shoes and everything. I don't think he really kissed his shoes. <laughs> nah, he but he was about comfort. to, though. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, no, he was. He was going to. What good is that kung fu job if you can't even use it? Coward. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> no reaction. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's in shock, man. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, uh, oh, this is crazy. Uh, and those guys, those, those, those showing up in his crew, man, they're cracking me up. They made me mad when they tore up that uh, pizzeria. They, when they tore up that pizzeria, mm. but man, it gets to a point where, let me see here, because <laughs> they, even they, man, they're like they, they, they saying a lot of funny things, but it gets to a point they just run out of shit to say, so it just, it just turns racist after. A while. <laughs> Do you, that's what it leads to, man. When they, when they run out of stuff to say, they just start just doing some of the most racist shit against Asians. So sorry, excuse me. Bah! Oh, oh, so sorry. Oh. like guys. Take it easy. <laughs> oh, this is like the oh, oh. They just they don't have nothing clever to say no more. So they just they just turn racist. Well, even showing up is like okay, I'm a little uncomfortable now. Yeah. Guys. <laughs> Let's take it easy. A little much. Oh, calm down. I just want him to bow to me. Yeah. It's like, yeah. But they're the bad guys, so I guess that's yeah. bad guys are yeah. racist. That's, that's yeah. part part of it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I don't make it rude against them. Then, hey, and there's <laughs> there's plenty of racist stereotypes to go around for everyone. <laughs> so nobody gets left out. No, man. nobody gets left out. So when the Asians come up and start like doing racist shit against black people, you have to be like, well, y'all earn that shit. <laughs> you know right? we, we watched this whole movie. Yeah, yeah, y'all doing it. So <laughs> <laughs> y'all, hey, y'all got it, man. Look here, chump. Especially you know Jive Coolies. Yeah, he don't see no one who don't know how to get down. I think he said Coolies, but I mean, y'all might have heard Coolies. Uh, that's so. what I heard. Yeah. <laughs> I, heard I, a, I heard an N in there. Yeah, no Jive Coolies up here. <laughs> I'm going to say he said Coolies. He don't see no one who don't know how to get down, baby. Uh, well, let me say it so he can understand it, Jim. Jim. <laughs> you go now. <laughs> Shit, they they got enough. <laughs> shit, they got enough racism to pay themselves. <laughs> shit, they got some racism that came back on them. Well, I, I like that these guys are so convinced they're black <laughs> that they're racist <laughs> against like, themselves. Against themselves. Yeah. They went too far. Yeah. Yeah. they went too deep. Shit, they got into a racist loop. <laughs> shit, yeah, got they, so, they did everything but go. Hey, 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 yeah. hey, hey. Right. Shit, got shit. so it got so racist it boomerang back on their ass. <laughs> shit, they got so racist they had change left over. To by themselves, so. uh, <laughs> like before Bruce Leroy shows up, they lip syncing a black music out there, <laughs> like doo wopping and shit. <laughs> just before, that's how they introduced. Right. They just do this shit. Mm -hmm. They just do this all day. They just do. They do this for other Asian people. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, he was like, I don't know what's going on anymore. I don't care. <laughs> shit, I was, I got to a point. I was looking at, <laughs> I was looking at the movie like I had Google Earth. Shit, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> what's going on? I appreciate there's a crew of them though, like yeah, the three is. blind yeah. mice. Yeah, the Stooges, three Stooges. Right well, I got one of them African hats on. And <laughs> oh yeah, we are wearing a kufi. A kufi, yeah. one of them African soup bowl hats. But <laughs> <laughs> you said I don't know what's happening though. <laughs> Plus, it's late in the movie. You're like, we're doing this now. <laughs> like, what, what does this mean? Even Bruce Leroy can't be down with their blackness. He can't. He has to He's learn. confused. He's confused. <laughs> you wonder why he looks like this in the movie yeah, because of go. this, right? That's yeah. fair. That's fair. His confusion is. Yeah, he he, he try. He has to try to find a way to speak their their way of jive talk. Hey, my man. What it look like? What you want? I am the soul brother, like no other. <laughs> He's like, oh, like you speak no my language ever. now. Oh. <laughs> Even funny how he was practicing on the way up. Yeah, we got. <laughs> what, what was he saying? <laughs> hey, bro, brother. Hey, what's up, my main man? Hey, my man. What it look like? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Jesus. Chris, Chris Tucker, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> hey, baby. My main man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, and then you know we've been talking about. 
his training and everything. And there's also the whole thing of uh, the glow. You know, you have to, that's the, that's the highest level of chi in this movie, which you, Bruce Leroy doesn't mind going around explaining to people, no matter how crazy it sounds. If these hands belong to a master, if his whole body glow, the beauty he would be able to create would be without bounds. If somebody was able to make the whole body glow, the beauty they could create would be without bounds. And it's funny because Vanity, who's never heard about this before, says, you know what? Cool thing is, I got a song about it. <laughs> oh. With his own music video. Good. We, got, we go right back to my studio. And I got, I got Damn it. <laughs> it's crazy that you say that. I have a song and a music video about the glow that you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hi-ya. <laughs> she's just trying to. She's like, I am so gonna f this kid. Yeah. <laughs> she's he's a virgin. He, she's like, I'm gonna break his ass down. <laughs> she's like, I'm gonna give you the glow, all right? Breaking it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, your, your dick gonna be glowing by the time. Oh god. Hey, look. So Eddie's like, shit. I'm not dealing with just some, you know, off the off the street, you know, martial arts strip mall martial arts dude. I'm dealing with a superhero. They're talking about he can glow, and all the rumors are true. So he just has an open call for super villain hitchman. <laughs> <Super villain. laughs> <laughs> Who come up barking like dogs? And shit. What makes you think you should get double what everybody else is getting, huh? Boy, he got the negotiation skills, don't he? <laughs> <laughs> Looking like Craven the Hunter's yeah. dead. <laughs> the guy, I mean, these, these, these characters get crazy and crazy, as you would expect with this movie. Got MF Doom's skinny little brother out there. Oh, wow. <laughs> like yeah, Vegas yeah, from they, Street they, Fighter. They were kind of beating the shit out of They would be there. He's like, hey, 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 cut. <laughs> hey, y'all cut. I, I, I mean, I'm still the hero of this, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh, damn. They beat really the hitting. shit out of here, yeah, man. man. You don't get hit with chains like that and no. then get up and go like, all right, let's try this again. Yeah. No. <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> he got the white Mr. T in here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> who's completely <laughs> useless. Yeah, no, not, not great. Got a great look. Uh, great look. He, he even carry him out. He's been, they spent about like a minute carrying him out. <laughs> like a shaved Yeti. <laughs> 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 but of course, none of these 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 super villain henchmen matter because it's always going to come down to the final climax, the final battle between Bruce Leroy and Show Nuff. <laughs> he told you before, he's telling you again. You're like, God damn, that actually hurts. You know, uh, with 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 the uh, Show sure enough, I have to say that they they do amp up the stakes with him because because mm -hmm. uh, mm. turns out that uh, that brother can glow too. Oh hell yeah! Oh you got it. Three times over, boy. Oh shit! He's like shit. <laughs> my hands can't do it. Where's my glow? <laughs> yeah, that's my glow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you looking for this? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is my final form. <laughs> Give him el I love it. When he starts glowing, he starts giving him electric back slaps. His <laughs> whole <laughs> face glow when he hit him. Uh, and even when uh, uh, Show Nuff starts getting his ass whooped, he starts doing Michael Myers shit. Did he fart? <laughs> <laughs> he definitely shit himself. <laughs> Leroy! They even play Halloween music. The evil, the evil has gone from here. <laughs> evil dies tonight. <laughs> oh, but it turns out that that was the challenge that Leroy needed. To yep. bring that glow in, man. Finally, he finally got the glow. He <laughs> said, if you listen to him, he wants to say mother yeah. like, God damn, motherfucker, let me go. <laughs> let him listen to him. Oh, God damn. <laughs> God damn. Let me go, motherfucker, let me go. Let me go, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, that glow. And I kept feeling like the, the glow was the soul glow that sprayed on everybody's hair. Well, yeah, everybody's body. <laughs> Shit, this brother stays covered in activator. <laughs> nice, slick, lubricating activator. Turns out you get the glow, you roar like a lion, you can kick the shit out of people too. He said, kicked him so hard, he ejaculated. <laughs> that motherfucker came sparks. <laughs> I'm about to wrap this up, because there's a lot of crazy stuff as you see in this. This whole time you're asking yourself, well, of course, you know, in one of these movies, this dude, it's just a guy doing kung fu. The, the, I can understand other kung fu people wanting to fight him, but your boy Eddie, the gangster, this all could have been done and taken care of if he used a gun. Why didn't he use a gun? Even his, even his henchmen tried to like say, hey man, let's, just, let's do this now and go home. Yeah. <laughs> These are dangerous. <laughs> you can hurt somebody with this. Hey, yeah, hey, he's concerned with safety. Yeah, he really is. <laughs> Put that away. Yeah, he wouldn't even let his let his henchman, wouldn't let his boy use the gun. You think it's just like every other movie. This could have been done so much quicker if we had a gun, but then you wouldn't have a movie. Ah, uh, but if you've seen the movie, you know, you know. <laughs> the rumors were true. He can't catch bullets with his teeth. Of course, Eddie could have just gone like, oh, blam, blam, blam. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows what he can do next? <laughs> catch bullets with his nipples or something? <laughs> he, Eddie, he, hey, he just said, I ain't taking no more chances. Bullet glows too when he caught it. Once that happens, it's done, man. You know, I, I will say this. I'll go back over and say this. I, man, I, I love the way Eddie, the villain, Near the end, he just becomes. I mean, everybody's amping up their villainy, so he becomes like a super villain too. He does start starts doing some Joker shit. Oh, here it is. <laughs> you know, when villains start taking over every monitor in the room. Leroy! <laughs> <laughs> Shaking the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just, yeah he's just doing this. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> he, yeah, he becomes a Joker at the end. I love it, but hey, you know. At this point, yeah, man, he is done. You know, once you beat Show Enough, once you beat the villain. Yeah, there's nothing else to do. Uh, there's nothing else to do. We're, we're finished. Everybody go home. Oh, kiss the girl. Yeah, kiss the girl. The movie's done. You know, now that Show Enough is taken off the street, he's no longer a menace. Now that Eddie the Gangster's gone, every the land is free to spontaneously break dance again. <laughs> yes, they don't have to worry about anybody coming in and beating up anyone and ruining the party. And Bruce Lero, who's a virgin actually, gets to go up into the ceiling and lose his virginity. For all the ways you made it clear. Uh, I can also kind of understand maybe why this is as big as a cult hit as it is. I mean, you think in the 80s, uh, exception maybe Carl Weathers, there weren't many black centric action movies. Yeah. It was Schwarzenegger, it was Stallone, you know, Bruce Willis towards the end, you know, that kind of thing. And so with this one, it, it was for that specific demographic and why it is probably as popular as it is. Because yeah, say, it was. I, I, can, I feel that's what I'm saying. Well, saying, think about this, know. man. This is at a time where uh, we're talking about black movies with, uh, with, with you know a, a, a sizable budget not, sure. not Black Panther but you know it's had a this good, was 10 million dollar budget yeah it was it was, it, it was it was good for black people back in the day you know it, it, it was 10 million yeah. and plus 10 million dollars back in the day was not get, yeah, today a that's a small budget yes. but that was a medium budget back in the day mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so for a black movie that's being put together by a powerful black businessman such as Barry Gordy or uh, you know regardless what you think about the guy he had pull uh, he was able to make this movie where the he, you know the hero was the black guy. Yeah, he was not a stereotypical black guy. He was a stereotypical <laughs> Asian, you know. That? Yeah. But uh, yeah, and it was it was just a lot there that Hollywood wasn't doing. Sure, and and a movie that was just weird. Yes, I mean it's uh, it's fun concepts. Music videos were were big at the time, and it yeah. showcased that MTV. Yeah. Um, and yeah, and like I said, you know, it's weird when you think about it, but it's bringing in stuff that's popular, uh, the black exploitation and kung fu. Yeah, and it was just such a, a unique animal. 
Yeah, I can see why this is popular, man. Um, and yeah. you're right. Yeah, music videos. It seems crazy now, but they yeah. were so big back in the mm -hmm. day. Um, I respect it for its uniqueness. I might not be as big a fan of, of the film as you guys are, but there's there's a lot to appreciate here. I mean, calling me a fan is a, is a lot. It's just <laughs> you one, insult me. <laughs> it's just one when I watched it, I was like, you know what? It, as bad as this is, I'm I'm having fun with it, and sure. I can... I can see why people who saw, especially when they were young, you know how you had those movies yes. when you were young and you yeah. saw something and it stuck with you. I was like, I get it with this. One. Exactly. Yeah. No. Yeah. Co yeah. Completely. Hey, everyone, support our Patreon, which helps us to continue bringing you our live streams, videos, and podcasts while bringing you new content such as exclusive live streams and animated shorts. 